everyone and a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have covered that how with the help of Selenium, we can automate the procedure of clicking on a button. In our today's session, we will be learning that how we can take an input from the user with the help of Selenium. So let's have a look on it that how we can take it. So I'll be giving you a very uh, basic simple example like how in Google, you know that in Google, we have this user input, right? So for that, first of all, let's copy this link from the top. I'll go back to my code. In my code, I have not made many changes. If you remember in our previous session or in the session before that session, we have learned that how we can make our Chrome driver work again and again. So in our previous session and in our previous to previous sessions also, I have covered these things that I'm not going to write these code again and again. Instead, we'll be directly writing that driver dot get inside the get. I'll be passing my URL. The whole setup remains the same for the Selenium. Okay, this is how we get the driver basically. Now, as soon as I run it, it will open a driver for me. And here we have Google. Okay, now here if I want to search anything, as you can see, we have a user input over here. For the user input, all you need to do is click on inspect. Go to this navigation bar. And here, as soon as I click in the center, you can see there is an input tag here. So this over here in the top and in the starting of this line, in, in the starting of this line, particular part of code, we have input written. This is input tag that whenever you want to take any input from the user, it generally starts from an input tag or may, many times there is text area, something like that. Okay. So we have an input over here. Let's copy its full X path. Let's go back to our code that once we are there on the Google's website, we will uh, also give it a time dot sleep so that it can load for a while. So time dot sleep of one or maybe two seconds. And then we will be writing our X path that driver dot find element by X path. In our triple quotations, we will be writing our input. Okay, we do not have to click inside this. What we need to do, we need to provide some input inside it. So maybe let's give it a variable called as search that this is our search input and in our search we will be writing something to write something we write here that search dot send keys that means what, what we need to do we need to send some data inside it send keys over here represents that we want to send something inside it now what do we want to send we want to send a string here. Maybe I just want to search for something. Maybe I want to search for WS Cube Tech. Okay, so I'll write WS Cube Tech inside it. And as soon as I run it, you will see that it has opened for me. And our next thing that we can do over here to go to this website is maybe we can click on whatever the first thing pops up. Or the best thing is that suppose if you have written something, basically if you have written something, what we generally do is we have written something here and then we click on the enter button. That means we press the enter key, right? To make this enter key pressed over here, what we can do is simply write search dot send keys. Now, what do we need to do over here is we need to press on this enter key to press on the enter key. We need to import other library as well. Like from Selenium only, we'll be importing uh, some functions that from selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys. So we will be calling our common keys here. And here we will be passing capital K keys dot on which key do we want to press on. So we want to press on enter key here. So we'll be writing enter key that once we have written WS cube tech in our user input, press on the enter key so that it will automatically get redirected on the next page where WS cube tech search options are there. Okay. So as soon as I run it, a driver will open for me. So here we have a google.com in the text input. We have WS cube tech and it has automatically clicked on the enter button as well. So here we have reached on our this page. Okay. Suppose if there are any other pages, for example, where we can log in or sign up. Okay. Or these kinds of pages. So I'll just open some website for you. Maybe I'll open, let's say tutorial suite. Okay. And let's click on this login page. In the login, it says enter mobile number. Okay, suppose if I click, if I, if I reach this page somehow. So for reaching this page, first of all, what I need to do is copy this link from the top. Okay, so I'll copy this link, pass it over here instead of Google. Let's wait. For, uh, we, after waiting for two seconds, what we need to do, we need to click on this login button. 
to click on this login button we have a very simple method that again in our previous session we have learned click something by mistake in our previous session we have learned that how we can make a button click right so we need to click on this login button here let's take our navigation bar to login here again we have this button class let's copy the full x path of this button let's go back to our code and we'll write driver dot find element by x path here i'll pass this and in the end i'll write dot click so that i can click on it once we click on it a pop-up will appear for us so let's give it a time for one second that time dot sleep for one second as you can see that if i click on this login button a pop-up will appear for me in, let's inspect this pop-up in this we ha again have an input for mobile number for this mobile number we'll copy the full x path okay let's go back on our code and we can write driver dot find element by x path inside this we'll write the input as well okay now we do not have to click on it but we have to send keys inside it that means we need to send the string inside this mobile number so i'll just give it a variable called as phone number is equals to this and in our phone number dot send keys we'll be passing any keys let's say i'll be writing one two three four five six seven eight nine zero this is the number okay and after this what we need to do we need to click on this uh, continue button right so i'll just inspect it once again and you can see the button is here let's click on the button copy full x path and then driver dot find element by x path not id but okay everywhere i have written id instead of x path and it's still working for me i don't know how it's working but yeah here it should be x path again here it should be x path and find element by x path here we need to click on it because it's a button so we need to make it click so here we can see two methods the first method was where we can press the enter key the second method is if somewhere we have a login button suppose if we have written down the username we have written down the password now we have the login button we can directly click on the login button or you can click on the enter button as well to log in so both the methods are there and we have seen both the methods let's run this one the second method where we click on the continue uh, and here the website is here let's click on the login button so as soon as we run it now it will open a driver for us let's wait for a while and it's not clicking on the login button let's see what is happening here so we have some error and selenium common exceptions element not interactable exception we are unable to interact with the element maybe for some reason so let's click on something else and i think yeah so this was the one this is the page okay so maybe instead of clicking on start now maybe we can click on something else here which has a user input so if i click on start now no here even we do not have anything like that let me just click on course here we have a search button okay so let's click on the search button in search button we have two options we write something probably like okay here also yeah so here we can write anything for example python if i write python in here and click on the search button okay this is not even interacting again so maybe let's go to something uh, some page else so instead of tutorials freak we can go to twitter let's go to twitter okay log in to twitter log in and sign up okay yeah so let's go with this one and let's write the code here so me, these things may happen with you where sometimes the buttons are not interactable or something like that might happen in that case you need to remember that if something like this happen you need to check that what errors you are getting sometimes it can be because of your internet sometimes it can be because of some elements that are not properly uh present on the website okay so all right i'll just give this three seconds to load once we have given this twitter three seconds to load we'll be again inspecting it let's go to navigation bar and here we again have an input let's copy quickly copy the x path and this is for our mobile numbers or something so again i'll take this a variable called as phone number is equal to driver dot find element by x path in the triple quotation we'll be passing the x path now we do not have to uh, enter on anything we don't have to click on anything but here we need to uh, send the keys right so we'll be writing phone number dot send keys and inside this i'll be passing any number okay 
once we have passed this number or i have one dummy account for selenium that is super selenium which we will be using later in our project as well so we have this uh, so we have this username called as super selenium once we are provided with the super selenium username we need to click on i guess there is a next button here let me just close this one yeah so there is a next button here so there are two methods as i have showed you before that one we can click on the enter button the second we can uh, click on the next button right so to click on the next button simply we need to just go to the div copy the x path so this is the next button and we can write driver dot find element by x path not id but x path and the triple quotations we can pass this and let's make it click so as soon as i click it it will open this new thing for me so let's run it and a new driver will open for me with the twitter sign up page let it give let me give it 3 seconds to load it's taking a little while and here you can see it has automatically filled that super selenium and clicked on the next button so both the methods are there we have seen both the methods where we can directly click on the enter keys where you want to use the keyboard keys for that you need to import these common keys here or if you want to click on any button after writing the user input sometimes in the search box we have we have to write something and then click on the search button so you can click on the search button as well or if you want to click on the enter key you can click on the enter key as well so i hope guys that you have no doubts and no question from our this session in our next session we are going to learn that how we can take a screenshot using a selenium so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you